Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Today is Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. And at this Mass, we've been asked to pray for the intentions of Alex Martinez. We begin our prayer, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, Grant that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you? the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance, who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt. You will cast into the depths of the sea all of our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Response, Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all of their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon our displeasure against us. Will you ever be angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and shall not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and your love. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brother appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told Jesus, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. 
But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, Jesus said, here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in this beautiful Gospel this morning, Jesus invites us into a very close relationship with him. Whoever does the will of my Heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. So that we are not merely followers of the Lord, not only disciples, but he invites us into a very intimate relationship with him, a familiar relationship as mother, brothers, sisters. And these are the people who not are necessarily believing the right dogmas or belong to the right church or saying the right prayers. Rather, the criterion for this intimate relationship with Jesus is whoever does the will of my Heavenly Father. So it's about action. It's about what we do. And the will of the Heavenly Father, of course, as Jesus sums it up, is you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And by doing that, we become intimate in relationship with Jesus as his own family. Whoever does the will of my Heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Something to contemplate. Let us bring to the Lord our prayers and our needs. For all of us, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, that we might grow closer to the Lord in an intimate relationship with him as his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For friends and relatives who are sick or hurting in any way and may experience the Lord's healing power and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the gift of rain, which we so badly need in central Texas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Ask your prayers for a special meeting uh, this afternoon at the Pastoral Center. We're getting very close to having the option agreement signed for the big development project for St. Austin Parish and School. It has been signed by the developer. Now we just need the bishop to sign it. So it's an important meeting this afternoon. Ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance on this meeting. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus, either physically or economically, for all those working to heal, for those working to keep us going economically, for all the researchers looking for a vaccine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers you make in the name of our brother Jesus and all those that remain silent in our hearts. We make them in his name, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Lord, wash my iniquities and cleanse me from my many sins. Please pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. 
May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joe our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, the Saints Peter and Paul, the Apostles, St. Augustine of Canterbury, St. Phoebe, St. Mary of Magdala, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, from God Almighty Father, in the union of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin <coughs> and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of the Lord's peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold, the Lamb of God. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. O Lord, bestow on us the spirit of charity so that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.